that. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Eddie Clutch, and we back at it again on the Clutch Time Podcast. And I got with me my boy, Ziggy Nash, the one and only. And in today's episode, we just chilling, just talking about crazy shit, you know. My boy, Anz, was about to pull up. He pulled up, and then he left. He was like, man, I'm taking too long. I had a meeting and shit, and then, you know. And then uh, Smooth may pull up. Uh, it's crazy shit, you know. It's just chilling, and then may have Dane come. We got to figure out what we're doing, but... Shit, man, I woke up this morning, bro. I was like, I look at my phone and I'm like, you know, I went to see Matt early last night. I look at my phone, I'm like, fuck, bro. My fantasy league got fucked up, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo, I look at all my leagues, right? I have like, I have like, so I have a, I have a Yahoo and I got, uh, and I got ESPN. So I'm like looking at that shit. I'm like, all right, they're good in this league, they're good in this league, playoffs, playoffs. What the fuck, bro? Like, shit got me pissed. I was like, word, I was. I was about to make the playoff. Like, I had a good ass team and shit. And the next thing you know, boom, but you know, I was pissed. But then I took a shower, went to class, bro. My class be annoying as hell, bro. My, my one professor, bro, he'd be like the most wokest teacher in the world, bro. He'd be talking about, he's like, we're talking about Christopher Columbus. He's like, man, you know, Christopher Columbus had slaves. He's like, you know, we, we celebrate him because he found this, but he was really a jackass idiot type shit. I'm like, Bitch, I don't care, bro. Like, teach me the curriculum, bro. <laughs> like, bro, thank God I don't have to go in next week, bro. Like, this dude, the whole semester, everything related to, like, Trump or some fuck shit. I'm just like, bro, I don't care about your— Like, even if, like, I agree with your politi- political opinion, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, I'm not paying all this money to go to college to learn your fucking belief system, bro. Just teach me the curriculum, bro, and let me get on with my life, bro. That's how college is now, bro. It's like— It's crazy. They just try to put their views on your on you, and it's just like— Dude, like, cool, like, good for you, bro. Like, great. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't care about your opinion. Like, literally, I, the one, this one semester we were there, and um, what was it? Uh, it was psychology. So you already know they're going to be whack as shit. I knew she was whack the first day. She looked at me. She goes, she was going down a list of names. So, of course, you know, I'm, she, she says my name. And of course, she says my federal name. And she's like, she's like, what's your major? And I'm like, music production and she goes she looked at me and she was quiet for a second she goes you wouldn't happen to go by the name Eddie Clutch would you and I'm like yeah I actually do why she's like my daughter listens to your music I still have one problem now I don't have a phone for the next hour and a half <laughs> yo this is about to be crazy but this shit's nice as hell bro in here <laughs> like this couch is actually mad comfy it is I can sleep on this couch what I can sleep on this couch yeah I fell asleep on here a few times it's just crazy. Shit. I passed out on Smooth's couch one time. Oh, that should be funny as hell, bro. He, like we like when it. he first got it. I remember when he first got that couch. I was like, yo, bro, that couch is nice as hell. But he really did that whole thing up, like, real nice. You know? No, he did. It's crazy because, like, I remember going to him and, like, his booth, he had no door. Yeah. He was using a, a blanket yeah. for his door. <laughs> that wasn't, like, helping out. It was just all the sound and all that <laughs> shit. It's just, like, the fuck, like... You know, yeah, he put he put all his money into that. I know, yeah. I, that's my respect, though. Because, like, I, I would never, like, I'm, I'm cheap as hell. I'm Jewish, bro. So I'm not the type that's going to be here and I'm going to go, like, yo, let's just do a uh, fucking, let me just spend, like, 20 grand out of my own pocket. Let's just build a studio, bro. <laughs> build a studio. I'll just come here. I'll just spend 40 an hour to go to fucking Smooth. Fucking fuck it. That's what I did. I, I, built, I was starting to build a studio. And I was just like, you know what? Like my boy had, do that, that's the mic I had for every hit. I mean, it's a really good mic. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it is a sound, good mic. It's really good. It was like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. I was like, I got all this shit set. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna sell that mic soon and just go to a fucking studio, <laughs> do all that shit. Let somebody else do all the work for me. You know, I just I'm too cheap. You know, I'm too lazy at this point. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I have somebody else with actual talent in that field do it because I was learning it all and I was like, you know what? It's too damn hard. I can't be mixing my own. <laughs> it's too much. Like, I can't mix my own fucking vocals, bro. I might as well mix, I have somebody else do it. That's why I got smooth to do it. I was like, you know what? I was trying to find somebody good and then fucking Fuego hit me up one day. He's like, yo, like, yo, go, you're going to smooth. Like, I'm booking a fucking session for you and you're going like tonight. I'm like, I'm not going. He's like, you're better going or else he's going to be mad at you that you booked a session and you didn't even fucking show up. I'm like, fuck you. So I went, did this. I was like, yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah, no. I wore the same exact hoodie. I was like, I just realized that. I was watching the video back like in class. I was like, I wore the same exact hoodie, bro. I was like, shit's fucking crazy. But yeah, with that being said, and I was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> everyone started, everyone started looking at me like, 
you know, who's this kid? <laughs> you know, like, you know, who, she, her daughter listening to music shit. And like, it happened the other day too. I was in a, my one professor, um, cause I got into the car accident. So my professor was like, you can't make up the days. Cause I guess with the one class, you can't make up the day. Yeah. So, because I guess it's part of the public speaking thing. It was public speaking. He goes, oh, you can take a Zoom class with me. I'm like, oh, it's perfect. I mean, I might as well just do it. I'm, yeah. you know, going to be watching the fucking Cowboys Seahawks game while in class anyway. So fuck it. So we were doing that. And then he was like, you know, Eddie, you know, he, his music is played at Madison Square Garden and shit. And, you know, of course, I had like a couple of people texting me in the Zoom, you know, like how you can like privately message people on yeah. Zoom. They're like, what's your rap name? Yo, like, who, who is you, bro? I'm like, <laughs> I didn't respond to any of them, bro. I was just like, you know what? Because when I'm in school, bro, like I try to put all that. Eddie Clutch shit to the side, bro. Because it's like, you know what? I'm here to learn. I'm here to get my education. I'm not here to learn you to to be my alter ego. Like, after class, you know, if I'm in, on campus, I mean, yeah, a little bit. But like, you know, just I'm not trying to be all crazy, you know, where it's just like, I'm the center of attention. I was, I'm here to learn. I'm here to do my shit, you know. I'm here to get away from all that shit, you know. And get that shit crazy. I mean, the other thing too was I was like, back to that psychology, you know. I knew she was a nut with that shit. But then she started talking about all these crazy things like, Oh, um, this one theory. She was like, when you were a baby, you wanted to fuck your parents. And you were jealous of your dad for banging your mom or some shit. I'm sitting here going, bitch, I didn't know what sex was till I was like 10, bro. Like, yeah. you're teaching me all this weird shit, bro. Like, and you were talking about, oh, I'm a straight white male, so I'm the problem. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, and you're talking about like, yeah, he's like, she's like, everyone's a little bit gay. I'm like, I never thought about the gay. I don't thing. think so. I don't bro. think so. I don't, I don't think, think so, so, bro. I mean, look, I, I, I respect. Listen, like I, ain't, I ain't homophobic. Not, not, not that it's wrong to be gay. It's not wrong to be gay. But you know, I just, I just don't roll that way. You know, like I, I, I like pussy, bro. So like, you can't tell me what I am and I can't be. You can't tell me how I should feel and not feel. And that's what really got me ticked off. That's why I took off a semester because that shit was getting to my. Fucking, <laughs> that shit was getting in my system. Then the drugs got in my system, and then I got all this other fuck shit. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, but now I'm back. Now I mean. Fucking, I'm on Dean's list. My ass doing crazy shit nowadays. I'm like, how, how do you feel like with like the whole rap persona in school? How does that like intertwine with you? Like, so like, I'm not. Nobody really knows who I am. <laughs> who the fuck are you? Like, who are yeah, you? like they would be like, I'd be like, oh, I rap. They'd be like, what? Like I'm the one telling people, yeah, I do music. They're yeah. not like, yo, are you? Are you him? I mean, I am him. I'm just kidding But I'm not Like it's It's not like Like it's two different Things like As much as like I want people to know me I'm kind of glad That they don't Because like I don't know I'm just trying to like Chill Like I'm trying to just Vibe vibe out Do me Just like I'm here to learn bro Like you know exactly. And like Like I'm at work Like nobody really Besides like my boys And like my friends Like they're not like Oh like you're You're Ziggy you're the zig, like Ziggler. It's like you know, like it's not the, it's different, you Put know. The like, zig on me, yeah. Like nobody really knows me that mu that much, yeah. except for like it's besides like my, my circle and everything. But you know, it's whatever. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, like I mean, after the song, hopefully it goes even more bigger. You know, yeah. I feel you like know? the song's gonna be crazy, but I feel like you know, it's, I feel like it's like. Tougher for like someone like me that has like that fan base. Of like you know, you go out places. And and they're like, like, "Yo, you're you're yo, fucking Eddie Clutch, bro." Like you know, it, at first you know it was all crazy with the whole like crazy thing with the fight, and then it turned into the whole. It, I really got rid of that image now. Now it's just mm. the whole rapper image, which is great because yeah. it's like you know what I don't want to be viewed as you know a villain of what happened. As, yeah, I want to be viewed as you know somebody you know that does what I do with music. Like that's what I always wanted it to be. And now that I'm getting that, I feel more comfortable going out. Yeah. Feel more comfortable doing things. But it's, at the same time, it's just like you always got to be aware. Like I was, you know, sometimes I was telling this. Uh, I was talking with this one chick. We were hanging out. I was like, yeah. Sometimes if we're gonna hang out in public, like because she was like talking about like dating me and shit. I was like. You know, sometimes if I'm, like, in a place where I feel, like, not the most comfortable, I'm going to bring security with me if, like, that's yeah. cool with you. Like, and it's, like, armed security. Like, I bring, like, some place I've been at, I've brought armed security with me uh -huh. because it's, like, you never know how it's going to be. And it's, like, it's nothing, like, it's not like I have ops or anything. Like, I got no ops. It's just, you know, you never know, like, fucking John Lennon didn't know that guy was going to kill him. <laughs> like, how do I not know that, like, I go up to some random person and they're just, like, just yo, what's happening? Happen. Boom, shoot you. You don't even know. <laughs> And it's for, like, no reason. Like, they, they could have been reading Catcher of the Rod, too. You never know. Like, you know, <laughs> like type shit. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're catching the rod. Kill Eddie Clutch. Like, shit. <laughs> I, I knew when I read that book, I was like, damn, this is going to fuck shit. Like, but nah, like, this shit's just crazy. Because it's like, 
I don't know. Nowadays, I'm just like on some fuck shit with my with my shit, with my music. And I'm just like, you know, it's getting more fun. It's getting more yeah. aggressive when it comes to like being on the scene, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm taking a step back from music a little bit just to finish, you know, school, finish like what I really want to do. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like that music's really picking up and it's fun. Good, yeah. That's that's what it's, supp- it's supposed to be fun. Yeah, like exactly. it's not supposed to be like, you know, like something that you have to like stress over. Yeah, nah, I don't like, want to stress. Like when I stress over, that's when I walk away from it for whatever. Yeah, like, like, you know, it's like I'm like, you know what? This is this is time for me to step back. Let me do my thing with like, you know, other shit. And I'm just like, fuck it, you know? Yeah, I mean? like like when I was making one of my albums, I was like, fuck, like I, I got to put this out. I got to put this out. And I'm like, wait a minute, like who am I putting this out for? <laughs> the, the the circle. I'm like, I'm putting it for me. I'm like, why am I stressing over this? So I'm like, you know what? Like I'm gonna just take my time. Like I got no rush. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I got, like, people always ask me. That's that's when it gets stressful. It's like, when people ask me, it's like, yo, when's the album drop? I'm like, I'm dropping it on my own schedule. When I'm ready to drop it and I feel like the album's perfect, that's when I'm dropping it. I could do as many songs as I want. I could do as many features as I want, however long I want to be. Because people are like, oh, you want it this length? I'm like, nah, I want it this length, this thing, this th- Damn, I sound like a fucking white chick right now. But, like, I want it this length, this time, you know, all this shit. I'm like, you know what? That's how I want it to be because it's just my album. It's what I feel comfortable with dropping mm-hmm. I'm like you know what fuck it if I'm not gonna drop it the way I want it to be then why am I even dropping it yeah. if I think it's gonna be shit like people either way like I, I told this one guy I was like people are gonna like it no matter what or hate it no matter what they're gonna have their own opinion on it yeah. but it's about my opinion if I don't like it I'm not putting it out there yeah. so like even when I did like blaming like it took me like months to finish that one song and I just said I wanted it perfect Every even every little detail even like the ad libs I'm like you know what this isn't perfect. I'm not dropping it. So I had to make it perfect. And I was like, you know, feel comfortable with it. Finally can drop it. It took me six, seven months to make a four minute song, but fuck it, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, I remember you, you posting like snippets yeah. for a while of that song. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn, like, he's really working on this shit. Shout out to you. Like, that's what I'm doing. He's, he's really that's what I'm doing with Fading. I feel like Fading's done. I feel like Fading is done. I just have to feel like, I do want to get like, just like, now all I gotta do is come up with like a good marketing strategy for it mm-hmm. and then gotta figure out a music video because I, I don't know if I want to drop the video at the same time or maybe like a little later but I also want to do a uh, like a album cover for it like I don't want to just put like fading away Eddie Clutch Ziggy nah I want to do like an actual like flick like get like an edit on it like we gotta take a flick for that shit no cap like facts, facts. like if Smooth come in here we can take like a flick real quick or do something crazy like like we gotta do something for fading because that shit gonna be a crazy song not for real or do something where with the album cover would be like, I don't know, something intertwined with the music video. I don't know. I got to come up with a really cool idea for like a cover. Because mm-hmm. it's like, shit, like the music video, I was coming up with crazy ideas and shit. I was like, shit, my boy's like, we got to run out an auditorium for it. Like, Yeah, yeah dude, that'd be fucking people, sick. Yeah. yeah, for like the prom scene and shit. Like, yeah, we need to get mad heads. You got to get mad heads for that shit. Like, Top secret, but like, it's, I, I said it too. I was like, shit, like, fading is everything blaming should have been. Like, <laughs> I remember I saw you post that. I was like, yeah, that shit, that shit is like, I mean, everything blaming myself should have been. Like, because I was listening to that song. I was listening to both of them. I listened to them back to back. And I was like, shit, I could have done a fading away, could have done the same blaming video for fading. But at the same time, it's like, it's kind of, I have to change some things up. But like, because the blaming myself video was out of this world crazy. Like, we, we could have pulled it off. But it was just the fact that I was dealing with all the the whole addiction and fighting all the time, stress and all. I just couldn't do it. Like I had to, I straight up said, do I want to kill myself doing this video or do I just seek the help, get the shit that I need and get back on track and just cut my losses with the video? I said, fuck, I'm cutting my losses with the video. I got to get the fucking help I need. So I did that shit instead. But um, I feel like fading is going to be a really good project because like, it's just something that like, it's different. Like, I'll be blasting that song. Like, I, I wrote it over one chick. Then I'm thinking about another chick with it. Then I'm thinking about this one. Then I'm thinking about this. You said a line that had nothing to do with this one chick I'm thinking about. I'm like, shit, like, that means that that line is meant for her. And I'm like, you didn't even know who I'm talking about. Like, it was, <clears throat> that's that's why songs are great like that. Because it's like, they have one meaning one day and then another meaning the next day. I'm like, but I'm hearing like, for some disease, I'm like, you know why you let you left me for a disease, and I know what the disease is. I'm not gonna say shit on here because I'm not trying to get canceled. But yeah, like now I'm thinking about it, like shit that just rolled over me, and then like when I heard it one day, I was like, that just happened to me. Like the fuck, like 
shit's crazy now. Yeah, and, and also keep your phone open for uh, Smooth just in case because I told Smooth to text you when they, when he's here. Is that smooth? Oh, speaking of who, look who just pulled up. <laughs> nah, yo, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Bro, look, 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 oh, look at our setup right now, bro. Look at our shit we had to do. We had to do that shit. Let's move all this shit out of the way, bro. <laughs> all right.